a spatial data infrastructure based on web services and standardized exchange formats provides rich data that can inform decisions about complex ecosystems like the Arctic. Predicting, understanding, and reacting to critical issues impacting the Arctic, as well as benefiting from the Arctic, is possible if we take a holistic view of this ecosystem. By looking at Arctic data as a set of individual elements that need to be integrated, we can take a cue from the natural systems at its core. Studying just one subsystem keeps us from keeping perspective on the big picture, and failing to grasp each little puzzle piece and its place keeps us from understanding the relationships and influences that exist between each piece. With the internet as the backbone for integrating elements, we can draw on OGC standards and interoperability to build a data-rich platform known as an SDI that allows for simple integration and analysis of any type of data in an efficient way. So what OGC focuses on is innovation in geospatial information. And what these pilots do is put that up against a challenge like delivering Arctic information for decision makers. Well, the Arctic is naturally a very complex area. You have eight nations. You have many organizations supporting uh, trying the decision making in the area. You have lots of data in many locations, and you have a lot of different technologies that are being used today and will be used tomorrow. So standards are absolutely critical uh, as a way to bring all that together in a seamless way. So without standards, I don't think we could accomplish the mission that we really need to to understand the Arctic and be able to act responsibly. The Arctic is dramatically changing. It's, it's probably the area on the planet that's changing the most. It's warming rather quickly, and that's uh, leading to a lot of environmental issues such as uh, permafrost melt, uh, glacial retreat, coastal erosion. An analyst wants to create a model that forecasts land that is susceptible to permafrost loss. Thanks to standardized OGC web services, the analyst can calculate new data values and overlay these with other information sources, such as earth observation, social economic data, or statistics. The ability to select and refine data values to answer where is it and to aggregate data values to answer what is here is made possible. The OGC standards, particularly for geospatial data, are essential for ensuring that the data comes together in a way that is meaningful, that it's authoritative, and that it's accessible in real time. Wildlife that exists in large marine ecosystems in the Arctic can be impacted by heavy shipping activity. To understand the implications of shipping routes on the Northwest and Northeast Passage, we need to integrate data from various countries. Data from all eight countries that make up the Arctic can be integrated on the fly thanks to standardized components. Because when you think of an Arctic SDI, you think about mapping, you think about geographic data, marine data, but you, you don't necessarily think about sensors and ship directions and other types of complex data that really give you a sense of the picture. So to me, I think uh, looking at issues like um, the maritime traffic through the Arctic and what the impact is on wildlife uh, and the general environment really starts to paint an interesting picture. A well-maintained data platform such as the Arctic SDI Geo Portal facilitates the rapid generation of customized maps that can be integrated into any website. These maps auto-update when new data becomes available. For example, they allow for new, super-efficient explorations and comparisons of data over time. In this case, we easily compare the state of Sea Ice Age data from the summer of 2012 and the summer of 1995. Because modern geospatial standards are no longer limited to 2D representations, we can analyze data over time in dynamic 3D. In this example, we visualize the complex migration patterns of the porcupine caribou herd that span two countries. Multiple layers of data from a number of different organizations are easily integrated thanks to OGC interoperability standards. The distance these caribou travel on their migration is the longest of any land mammal on Earth, covering approximately 2,400 kilometers each year. Data derived from GPS collars on the caribou arrives in tabular form as a simple spreadsheet. Once converted into a standardized format, the data is easily matched to digital elevation models and overlaid on dynamic base maps that provide situation awareness. By playing back the data, 
we quickly get an idea of their behavior as they calve, search for food, avoid predators, and adapt to the seasons. Scientists can ask questions they haven't been able to ask before. Um, and lo and behold, uh, it does demonstrate that there's seasonal behaviors that the herd takes up that are relative and, and uh, based on elevation. This ambitious pilot explored a number of other challenges in the Arctic, including food security, sea ice age evolution, search and rescue operations, complex data analysis, functionality, and sustainability. What we saw today was things that scientists can pick up and deliver and use for making decisions about critical resources in the Arctic. Typically, um, the pilot processes include a lot of technical and scientific experts, but the things that we do need to be communicated to decision makers and to leaders of our nations. And so the pilot process has given us a lot of good information to allow us to do that in a simple but more compelling way. At the end of the pilot, you have a pattern. You have a best practice that can be shared with others, and that can create a very common infrastructure. It's my hope that we continue to make more data sets available to allow that, allow that mashup to occur and, and have applications that we haven't expected and can't quite anticipate, but are only limited to the imagination of the scientists that are, that are using the data. The results of this pilot, as well as engineering reports and a full presentation, are free and publicly available. If you would like to take part in OGC's next Arctic Pilot Initiative, we would love to hear from you. We believe that the Arctic Spatial Data Project will quite simply serve three critical objectives. First, it'll help establish a foundation upon which we can build facts, information and knowledge about the Arctic, not just in Canada, but across the Arctic region and among our partners in the Arctic. Second, the project will also ensure that the facts we collect in their data formats are interoperable and can be shared from local to global partners in a seamless way. To date, there's been no such effort to do this, and this project is, for the Arctic, a real game changer. <laughs>